What is up, Wanderers? We're back for another fantastic bag review, and I am looking forward to this one because I am asking the question, do you have to pay a lot of money to get a great bag for your everyday carry? Well, I got a cheap bag off Amazon to try it out and see what uh, how it goes, um, and so let's find out right after this. <music> Okay, so you've all seen them probably. Amazon knows what you like and they feed you uh, things to look at. And sometimes they feed you a $30 bag and you're wondering, this looks pretty good. Maybe, but do I wanna waste my money on it if it turns out to be just junk? So I wasted my money on it just so you wouldn't have to, just to see, can you get a good bag? So what did I buy? This, this is the Larku outdoor sports bag, specifically the EDC tactical bag with shoulder strap, Larku, L-A-R-K-O-O. -O. So I'll put the link down below in the video description and you can check it out. There's also a handy dandy little QR code if anybody uses QR codes. So you can get this on Amazon. What does it look like? Actually, Pretty cool. Okay, so what is this thing really? Turns out it is a vertical messenger bag. Um, kind of an iPad sling, but not uh, in the crossbody style, more in a uh, vertical messenger style. Um, and spoiler alert, I like it. So let's do our usual. We do a walkthrough of the bag. We do two things that we like, two things that uh, eh, not so much, and then an overall review. Should you buy the thing? Well, let's start with the front of the bag. This is in multicam black. It's a nice uh, Cordura material, nylon. Nothing crazy high quality. It has, as you can see, mole, pa mole panel on the front here. Um, and it's got uh, three rows of mole, um, four spots a piece right across the front. And then it's got a hook and loop uh, for morale patches or whatever down below. So you can see I've stuck a flashlight and some pens and a USB and a little hero clip um, on the front of my bag. Um, so what else do we have going on here? We have a tiny little random logo down here so you don't have to worry. Sometimes on these uh, very cheap bags, you'll get like uh, some really, really weird uh, slogans and stuff blazoned across the front. Like it'll be a really sweet looking bag, but it'll say like, beautiful workout on the front or something like that. So not on this bag, very subtle. Okay, front pocket. Okay, well you've got five little pouches on this side. Elasticized, wallet, AirPods, and some accessories down here, cords, USBs, dongles, that kind of stuff all jammed in here. I, I found this to be pretty useful. On the front, you've got another pocket, just a little drop pocket. And what I got even more accessories, pocket knife, etc. cetera. Uh, but honestly, it's really usable. It's a little padded too on the front side, so you can put, I had some uh, glasses in there. Not too bad. Next you have, right here, another pocket and you will not believe how gigantic this drop pocket is I was blown away so I put all of my video equipment in look at that all of it in this pocket so you've got quite a bit of storage going on already for a small bag in the main compartment uh, I should say these zippers not great you get what you pay for, for real. Inside this main bag pocket, you have a front panel. There's a pocket along there. There's a middle section that has, I mean, like two inches of dimension. So if you're thinking about a change of clothes or anything, this is not your bag. This is literally just for uh, an everyday carry. And I mean, I. I did. I even had a little bit of a hard time getting my AirPods Max in here, so I went with the regular AirPods. 
is what it is. And iPad, this is the uh, normal size iPad Pro, not the Gigantor version. So you've got two different, it's really hard to see in the here, but you've got a Velcro strap to keep a small laptop in place, and we're talking small. Um, 13 incher, it fits. Anything above that 15 inch laptop, not gonna work, okay? Um, and then on the back here, one more pocket, a Kindle. You could even use this back pocket if you were getting crazy for dropping an entire tablet into. So, what the what? This is the cheap bag. I love it. It's awesome. I love it so much that I bought a couple of extra in case the quality sucks because it's cheap and it's awesome. I love carrying it. I think it looks pretty cool. I love the, the using the front uh, mole as kind of an admin panel. Ah, I get a lot of positive comments on this bag. So what do you know? It's a nice bag, it's cheap. Sometimes the cheap ones are just fine. Okay, so two things I like. First off, the price. I'll ch I'll, I hate to say prices on these videos because prices change and the videos are still posted, but I'll put a link to the bag. I got it for 30 bucks. So three zero, 30 bucks, but um, your price may vary and uh, I'll, I'll put a current price down in the link or in the video description. Um, so price, you can't beat the price. That's one thing I love about it. Uh, second, uh, very rarely does a bag fit all my needs as neatly as this one has. It's a great little bag and it's easy to carry by its handles and it's easy to carry by um, as, a, as a messenger bag. It's nice. Uh, so the, the number of pockets, the placement of pockets uh, matches a modern carry very nicely. Uh, so I love that. Those are two things that I love. All right, what do I not like about this bag? Um, first off, the main compartment, too small and too hard to find things in. So it's great for an iPad. I can't put a water bottle in this bag. Uh, that's a problem. Um, but yeah, so I... The main compartment, not wonderful in this bag. All the rest of the compartments, totally wonderful. It would have benefited from just two more inches. Just a little bit wider. Not much, just a little bit. Um, and the next thing I don't like, quality of materials. It's going to be a problem. You get what you pay for, for reals. Um, the zippers aren't great. The, the strap that came with this bag, I threw it away. It was terrible. So I just uh, stole a strap off of another bag that I liked more and that was more comfortable. Um, I actually stole, stole it off that uh, Blue Lounge tote right back there on the wall. Sorry, Blue Lounge tote, I took your strap. Um, but yeah, materials aren't wonderful. You can't see from uh, the camera, I'm sure, but there's a, a little bit of thread pop um, on the back of the bag here. And, you know, but I've been using it pretty heavily. So, should you buy this bag? Well, hell yeah. For the price, why not? Just skip a pizza. Buy this bag. Try it out. I think you're really going to like it. Um, use it for walking around a city. Um, use it for a uh, everyday carry if you have a minimalist carry. Um, I, I think you'd get a kick out of this bag. So, all right. That's it. Sometimes you don't have to break the bank to get a unique and cool bag that works for your needs. So thanks everybody. We'll see you next time. And if you like the video, please like the video and uh, please subscribe if you're new here. We're growing the channel and we're glad to have you along for the ride. So thank you so much. See you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.